biggest specific um, policy export of Thatcherism is privatisation, uh, which hadn't really got going. And actually it's quite an interesting example of where Mrs Thatcher was much more cautious than people realised because though she'd always been in favour of privatisation in principle, she'd pretty much rejected it except in one or two minor cases for her first term. And it's something I try to bring out in the book that she wasn't she was brave, all right, but she wasn't always very bold and she wasn't always the first in her party to, to act. For example, she was, interestingly, though she did want to get rid of exchange controls in 1979, she needed a lot of persuading that she actually must do it now because she was very nervous. Um, so your yeah, privatisation would be a, a huge uh, export and I think so would the freedom agenda. Um, and so also, and this again relates to her sex as well as her beliefs, is a particular model of leadership and of what women can do in the world. So I think if you put all that together, you get quite a lot of specific policy, you get quite a lot of strong uh, ideology, and you also get a sort of mythology of a personal style of leadership. It's a pretty big combination. I was asked to write the biography by Lady Thatcher in 1997 and it's interesting to remember now that because when I accepted it was clearly a great opportunity and a great honour but I was conscious that she was very out of fashion at that time. This was the early Blair and though she still had an enormous fame and, and global reputation people actually didn't want to think about her much in Britain um, and that's really really altered since then as was apparent in her death, even in the hostile reactions to her, there was still this sense that you had to have this argument. Um, and I think there's a, a specific reason why it's altered as well, apart from the simple passage of time, which is that because of the credit crunch, um, the idea that everything just goes on getting better regardless, which is obviously an idiotic thing to believe about any political or economic situation, has been smashed. And Margaret Thatcher was essentially... A, a great leader for bad times. She wasn't a natural leader for good times and indeed if we'd been in good times in the 1970s I don't believe the Tories would ever have chosen her. And so she came to power because she could analyse a disaster and propose a solution and um, that's what people have been looking for since 2007-2008. So they start to think well what was all that about? Um, and so the reputation has changed and though she remains intensely controversial in Britain I would say that the reputation has have been enhanced uh, and that her fundamental importance uh, is now unchangeably established. I don't think, you know, people may, they, they may say she's good, they may say she's bad, but they're not going to say who was Margaret Thatcher, you know. <laughs>